Contrary to President Obama's assertion, executive orders are not all powerful and not intended to bypass the legislative process. They are not part of the supreme law of the land as established in Article 6, Clause 2. This Constitution and the laws of the United States which shall be made in pursuance thereof, and all treaties made or which shall be made under the authority of the United States, shall be the supreme law of the land. If executive orders are not part of the supreme law of the land, where do they get their authority? Mostly from the general ignorance most Americans have when it comes to the Constitution. Notice that EOs are recorded in the Code of Federal Regulation, not the United States Code. These regulations are often enforced as if they were law, even though they are not. Remember, all power for making laws is vested in Congress, not the presidency. This from Article 1, Section 1 of the Constitution. All legislative power herein granted shall be vested in a Congress of the United States, which shall consist of a Senate and House of Representatives. No federal regulation is law, contrary to what the federal courts have opined. Congress may pass a law authorizing an executive agency to pass regulations, but those are not laws. Congress's attempt to thrust their lawmaking power into the executive branch is just another violation of the Constitution, since Congress is not authorized to delegate their lawmaking power. Since regulations are not law, by extension, executive orders, which are instructions on regulations, are also not laws. Like any other power, the president's power to issue orders to the executive departments cannot legally be used to bypass the Constitution or laws of the United States. Executive orders are orders to the executive branch, not the American people. In other words, they're not edicts.